Welcome and good afternoon. I am Lisa Holder, Communications Officer with the City of Sanford. This is Sanford Says, the City's podcast. And today we have with us Shiloh Fink. Shiloh Fink is a member of the Mayor's Youth Council. We have a youth council here at the City of Sanford. I'll let Shiloh share some details about that. But first, we just want to um, briefly tell everybody how it began and when it started, which was in 2015. City of Sanford Mayor Jeff Triplett thought it would be very important to get our youth involved, and so we incorporated a youth council that um, has students from both of our high schools, Crooms and Seminole High School, part of this program. It's a school year long program, and we have 12 council members currently. It started again in 2015. This is our, our third group of students, and they have accomplished a whole lot in the city of Sanford, and they are responsible for communicating to the city and with, with each other the, the needs and the concerns and the issues that are important to the youth of our community, and we find that very important. We are also recognized by the Florida League of Cities having this Mayor's Youth Council, and the students have won several awards monetary awards for their work in the community and we we really appreciate that so with that introduction I'd like to introduce Shiloh Fink Shiloh is a student with Crooms Academy of of Information Technology Mm -hmm. hi Shiloh how are you today I'm good thanks for having me so can you share a little bit about your um, specific interest and why you wanted to join the Mayor's Youth Council and um, what your role is and also how easy was it to apply when you first heard about it? And then we'll get into some of your initiatives mm-hmm. that your group this year, this school year, are focusing in on. Yeah, so I really heard about it because, well, my brother went to Crooms Academy. So he joined the Youth Council in his senior year. So coming up my senior year, I remembered that this was a really cool club. I heard a little bit about it. I saw that perspective. And it was really easy to join. Our school had announcements about it. Um, Miss Bundrick, who is the coordinator at our school, had applications. You filled out a form. You listed your activities down. And it was really easy. And I really just wanted to explore it. And, you know, a lot of times over the past couple of years in high school, I had been in, in clubs inside of Crooms. And this club, you know, was a community initiative. So let me take that focus and put it towards, you know, Sanford. And I love my city. So it was a way for me to give back to it, really. Um, in the council, I really didn't know what to do. It was kind of we all learned on our feet. Uh, the 12 council members came together, and we decided, you know, what are the issues we see in our community, and how do we think we can address them? So one issue that I've been, I've known for, you know, longer than I've been in this council is about human trafficking in our, especially in Sanford as well. So I had um, been active with another organization called Love Missions, so I wanted to be able to do my part to help out, you know, stop human trafficking. So I brought that initiative to the group, and we decided to make it one of our main four ones. So I also serve as the chairperson of the marketing committee. So basically, um, I help facilitate, you know, when we post on social media, how to get the word out there, how to let people know that we exist in the first place, but also get, you know, on board on what we're doing in the community. Right. And another thing, too, is that we want to mention to um, folks that are listening that I, as Le- as the communications officer, uh, Lisa Holder, also act as the liaison to the youth council with the programming teachers so that there's that ease of communication between what they're proposing to do at at the council level through the city. So I help them as a resource to find out who to talk to at the city and so they can actually continue on with their initiatives. And that the Youth Council also has a designated room here at City Hall that you meet and you meet twice a month. Yes. Uh, And so on a regular basis. And um, there's also two teachers from Crooms. There's a teacher from Crooms High School and a teacher also from Seminole High School that also yeah. is part, participates in part of those meetings as well as I am. And um, so we think that's really awesome. You also receive polo shirts that so people in the community can designate that you are um, part of the Mayor's Youth Council when you're out there in the community doing these great things that you're saying. And um, so you really feel like you're part of the city, don't you? Your, your, yeah. Your, your group. You know, I'm not just in the city living in it. I'm a part of it, you know, in City Hall. I'm a part of it, and I'm acting on it, and I'm improving life for everybody else. And so are there other initiatives that your group is, your council, this school year 
is working on? Yeah, so we have four main initiatives that we pick, and one of them, as I said, was human trafficking awareness. Uh, the other ones include volunteering at the Boys and Girls Club, helping them with their homework, you know, teaching them, things like that. We also decided to do an environmental approach. This was started by last year's council. We made a garden, and we're continuing that this year. We're growing vegetables to donate, actually, to charity so that people can have fresh fruits and vegetables who may, may not have access to those. Um, also, we are trying to help our fellow students get ready for college and their careers. So we um, are going to have a career fair coming up in March, actually, where we have, like, you know, resume building, interviews, just getting, you know, students who don't have that education, getting them that access to get ready for college and beyond high school. And, um, yeah, we're working on all of those. And most of the youth council members are residents of Stanford. Was that a criteria? I don't remember, but I think that most of us do live in Sanford. I mean, you didn't have to, but I think that other counties, like, don't have, or other, you know, cities don't have that option, like, for council. So I think a lot of them do live in our community. Great. So these are some wonderful things that you're doing to help Mm -hmm. the the youth of our community, and and we really appreciate that. So Shiloh, as you can see, is very articulate. Mm -hmm. These these students are extremely um, well-rounded and great part of the city in addition to the city. And so um, we'd like to know, you are going to have a show for yourself, correct? You're going to actually, Mayor's Youth Council students are going to come on and interview folks that are um, have something to do with their initiatives. And I think we'll also have a uh, person from your human trafficking organization coming yeah. up and you have an event too we do this saturday actually but it'll be this podcast will be out before that event but yeah we um we're planning to use this podcast as a way to broadcast our goals and to get people you know on board and just knowing what's going on in their city you know the problems and knowing that somebody out there the council and the city are doing something about it too and this is an ad hoc committee with the city of sanford just wanted to make note of that and do you want to share specifics about the event like the date and the time and where it's going to be that you're having this Saturday for the human trafficking awareness event. Yeah, it's uh, this Saturday, February 23rd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And basically it's a lot of different things rolled into one. We just want to address this issue and a lot of people don't know much about human trafficking, what it is, what are the signs, how can you help. It's hard to believe that something so horrible is happening in community. So, you know, we're having experts speak about it so that people know this is going on but aren't afraid and are educated because the biggest way to defeat that is by awareness when people are aware of something they can avoid it and stop it and that's our main goal and that's what's going to be happening in this event and it will be at the Sanford Civic Center this Saturday Shiloh yes and what are the time times again 10 a.m to 2 p.m and it is open to the public is it oh, yes. free it's free to go a lunch you can purchase all right and so that's wonderful. Is there anything else that you'd like to add right now about the Mayor's Youth Council? Um, no, but um, make sure to check out our future podcast. Several other members will be introducing themselves, talking about our initiatives. If you ever want to get into contact with us, you could always contact Lisa Holder at the city. We're always accepting, you know, contacts, sponsors, somebody to help us to help our community of Sanford. We really love this place and we want to make it better. Great. That's wonderful. Well, there you have it. Shiloh Fink, Mayor's Youth Council member for the city of Sanford. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Don't forget, you can listen to this podcast on the City of Sanford website. That's sanfordfl.gov. Also, you can follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Nextdoor. Thank you again for listening to Sanford Says, the City of Sanford's podcast. Thanks. Bye-bye.